Michael Gargiulo. I'm Darlene Rodriguez. Del Caballero is here talking about some early closures and Storm Team Force. Maria La Rosa is talking about that roller coaster. <laughs> we went up, now we're going down. I know, I know. Whenever anyone says, oh, this winter hasn't been too bad, I said, wait for March. There you go. Wait yes. for March. It's always interesting. End of February, early March. All right, chilly. We have 28 in New Paltz, Poughkeepsie at 30 degrees. Dan Bear, you're down to 36 with Mount Kisco at 37. Sussex now at 33. We're sitting right about 38 at Teterboro, but the battery coming in at 45 with Ozone Park now at 43 degrees. We definitely have the clouds and no rainfall. And in fact, you kind of show the wide view, not much imminent. So it's going to be sort of a gray start. We'll see clouds, some sun from time to time. And then by later on tonight, how your holiday drive or commute <laughs> or wherever you're going out tonight is <laughs> looking so far. Um, a bit busy in some areas. How your holiday drive or commute <laughs> or Wherever you're going out tonight <laughs> is looking so far, Adele. Um, a bit busy in some areas at home watching. Now, if you are heading out the door right now, there are already a couple problem spots out there. We're going to break it all down for you in just a second. But if you are planning to pour westbound, it's still completely closed. This is because of that overturned truck from exit 9A out to exit 9B. Luckily, you've got options through the area. 78 still looking pretty good. 22 is also wide open and even 280 is problem free as well. Heading on to the BQE now that earlier accident has cleared out over by exit 27. We've got a live look out there. You can see traffic still pretty light both ways. This is the Brooklyn Bridge here and you can see traffic continues to move along just fine through there as well. Long Island Expressway heading into Queens. No major problems to worry about through there as well. That's all for now. Back to you Darlene and Michael. Thank you very much season. And this weekend the man who signs the checks for all that got his first look at what he's investing in. Today New York's Bruce Beck takes us Back to port success. Huge. Oh, huge. Yes. The first one was also. And yeah. yeah. The and first one was yeah. great. No one is really surprised. Yeah. And, but, but even with this, is so impressive yeah. because and considering that the movies have right. not been fully back yes. as the way they were before, that so is it's true. a big deal. And it's yeah. a true story, which is really <laughs> Yeah. <incredible>. The biography. <laughs> the biopic. Can't biopic. wait to see your avatar, Michael. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Well, and consistently in the, in I'm the doing top wave two, water that's now. always hard these days for right. a movie to stay. But you're doing your Ant Man. Oh, well, that had a good run, too. Um, <laughs> yeah. Storm before Maria La Rosa is here with today's changing forecast. It's going to be a changing week, Maria. Uh, yeah, we're going to be all over the place for sure. But to 49 in Montauk, I slip in the 40s. Down below freezing, though, Poughkeepsie, Sussex, Monticello. Clinton, you're right at 32 degrees, so definitely a chilly start in spots. Just keep in mind with some sun and clouds today, uh, you'll still want that heavier jacket at least early on. By 4 p.m., all the way up to 58. So once again, let's get you through this morning right now, <laughs> Adele, and uh, a lot of holiday schedules and things like like that, but you're still yes. keeping an eye on things. Uh, yes. Let's get you through this morning, right now, <laughs> Adele, and uh, a lot of holiday schedules and things like that, but you're still yes. keeping an eye on things. Uh, yes.